Hi, I've uh, just had this very quick uh, ink drawing just of a tree, it's just a tree, simple tree painting. And I'm going to use just uh, two colours, you know, use burnt umber and ultramarine. So I'm just going to, to wet around the tree. This is a bit of Archer's paper, about 30 centimetres, uh, 20, 27 centimetres by 19 centimetres. Just give a bit of lubrication to it. With my new mop. Lovely little brush. I'm very pleased with it. But it's not the brush really, it's what we how we use the brush. You learn to use to use it and get better with it with practice. Like the hake, really. If you're new to it, it's very difficult holds a formidable amount of water, so does this. Okay. So we'll put a bit of a, a bit of a sky, let's have a, a bit of umber. So we'll have a very loose wash of of the umber. We'll put a bit of a bit of clay or a bit of grey. So it's essentially a tone study. So a bit of a bit of ultramarine in that. And we've got a nice sort of grey on the blue side. Or well, as Alan, Alan would say, a blue cast. Or, or a brown cast. Doesn't really matter. So we we'll just take that down there. Nothing too complicated in that. We'll probably put just a little bit more umber. Oops, that's Sienna. In the, in the base here. Okay. Got that. Right, I'm going to wash in a bit of. Uh, Bit of foreground. Well, a bit of dark, like a tone study. With one colour, the Ron Ranson favoured. A spare bit of paper, just do one colour. You use paints grey, burnt umber. But burnt umber is a good warm, warm colour, and we can mix a bit of. Oops, keep going to mix up a little bit, but I'm burnt sienna. Okay, so that's a basic uh, wash. Now I'm going to give that a dry. So take your headphones off or mute, go. So we'll assume that uh, that's dry. So what we're going to do now. I'm just going to just clean the brush and wet the main trunk. And we'll assume that the oh, I know what I was say. We'll assume that the the light is coming from the right hand side. Okay. So it was a bluey browny mix. We're on the blue side, and we'll uh, 
we can vary the the intensity of that. some more colour in this main chunk here. Clean the Look at lovely, lovely um, touch with this lovely little brush. So number six. So we call this a, a line and wash. Let's just let's come away from there for a minute. Get some get some darks in here. I can put some nice wintry leaves, or oh, branches, aren't they, really? Cool. I'm really enjoying that little point on this brush. I'm glad I'm going to last. Before it wears out. Okay, let's get some dark under there. Let's get some bluey dark under that. The texture on that. Right now we'll go back into some more keep this as simple as possible we'll have a shadow come down here. Okay, we'll go put on a bit of bit of blue background. A touch of grey.
to some background. Probably just a bit wet here, but. <coughs> right, um, I'll give it another dry and then I'll put some uh, twigs on. Okay, that'll do. Just using the size of the brush, show that background, kind of a bit more blue uh, in here. Right, now we'll have some brown. Still very wet. Right, nearly there. Okay, well I'm going to let that go. Let's put a fig in. And we'll anchor him to the uh, okay that will give a bit of scale to the whole thing there clean the brush put it in the mount I go and have a cup of tea
All right, well, uh, yeah, I quite like that, so I'm going to put a bit of a My last one was a take on a John Tookie painting, but I think I've said that. Um, it's not a copy, I never copied. I think you can, you can take something, I think crumbs of, I've got hundreds of people following me and copying my paintings, as is Alan Owen and Stephen Cronin. Uh, this is how we learn. We learn by working from each other, sharing. And we develop our own styles anyway. Uh, I just wonder if uh, he's a bit thin. Anyway, there we are. Thanks for watching. I'll just bring you round so we can get a square on view. I'll zoom in. So, oops, let's come down. A foreground. As Ted Weston would say, bags of damn all. But it, they're good fun to do. If you keep it simple, use simple material, a few colours, or as fewer colours as you can get away with, and see what you can do with them. What we've got, now with only two colours, we've got a warm and a cool colour. So we've got the blue in the background, and we've got the warmer colours in the foreground or in the middle distance. Try, try these things for yourself. A simple drawing and then just wash in. But I have to say that it's much easier to, to use this sort of paper than the Fabriano for dry brushing because you've got so many high spots you can hit and miss and get that lovely sparkle. <coughs> right, enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.